All right, everyone. Where is Vor? Back again. This time with a new game for the channel called Timberborn. Uh, now, I'm usually really bad at CD uh, build, building kind of games, but a, a lot of the YouTubers that I tend to watch, uh, I've started playing Timberborn. Uh, and it is a really cool game. I, I did try it out a little bit, uh, not too much, so I'm not by far... Okay. I am not the best at this. In fact, I am probably going to die. Well, not me, but our beavers here are probably going to die. But what this is, is that this is a take on a city building game uh, or simulator in which you play as a beaver. And there's multiple aspects to it. So we'll actually go ahead and just jump right in that way we can take a look at it. Now, there are currently two factions to the game. We can be the Folktales or the Iron Teeth. Uh, I can't be the Iron Teeth just yet until we reach an average well-being, so we are going to go ahead and use the Oak Tails. Now, this is where we select our map. I'll go ahead and just click on the first one, the recommended. It doesn't really matter too much. Let's go ahead and do normal. Okay. So while this is loading in, like I said, this is a take on, a C on CD building simulator games. Uh, why am I getting this circle of death here? I shouldn't be getting a circle of death. Okay. Made it in. So, what shall we call our first settlement? Uh, well, that's easy. Let's call it Borland. Okay. So, let's go ahead and pause the time while we are t while I'm uh, going through here. So, these are, these are our residents, also our labor workers, uh, as you can tell, they are really adorable. Let's uh, get a good look here. But yes, look at their faces. All of these are ours. Looks like we have a mixture of adult and possibly some children. Uh, maybe this is a children. We do have four children and some adults here in the top uh, left corner. But very first thing is that... No. So we so we have the tutorial and I'm going to follow it a little bit. But basically, what what we want to do is establish water, establish food, berries. Uh, we can also farm and start expanding our settlement. The objective of the game is to survive. Right now, this is considered the wet season. Uh, the dry season uh, will will arrive, and when and when it arrives, all of this water will basically disappear. Uh, and so we start building a dam and having a reservoir. But yes, so let's go ahead and build two lumberjack flags. Okay. So that's going to be our first location. Second location. We'll go ahead and do it right here. Doesn't ultimately matter, but just so that way we are... Uh, uh, we get that going. We will also need to build paths to these. Otherwise, uh, the beavers, they won't really know what they're doing. So let's go ahead. I think I want to be up one more. Go ahead and extend the path. Luckily, building paths does not take resources. But we'll go ahead and play through time a little bit. So now we can also set the priority here. Right now it's on about the normal priority. So we now currently have two beavers working on the lumberjack flag diligently. Uh, while the rest of these guys are currently slacking. But it's fine. We will put them to work in a fair bit of time. Alright, so both of the lumberjack flags are now complete. We are now, uh, we are supposed to connect them. They're connected. Perfect. And now we're going to go ahead and mark the trees for cutting. So to mark the trees, I, I will go ahead, go right into my little, uh, tool here. And this is how we actually mark the trees. Uh, the selection. Uh, select them to be cut. Go ahead and get all of those. Okay. 
So now we will need to go ahead and build a water pump. And the water pump gives us water. Which is vaguely somewhat important for survival. At least arguably. So as you can see, our beavers are now running around, cutting down trees, doing what they do best. Uh, let's take a look down here. Anything going on? No, not yet. It looks like everyone is currently focused on this. But as they're cutting down trees and we're building this water pump, you can see they're 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 carrying this lumber and now we are working on this uh, water pump now if i click on here we see that we are currently at two out of 12 logs so we're going to need a lot more logs coming in <clears throat> all right that took bloody ages but we now have a water pump and now without and now we see here our beaver Kazan is going to go and basically walk the work the water pump right uh YouTuber I watch says that he's gonna go pump his log. So yes. Drizon is gonna go pump his log. Uh but I'll simply refer to it as uh working the water pump or something to that effect. Okay. So the next thing we have to do is we have to build the gather flag. Uh I like to keep things very simple. Uh so I'll go ahead, put it right there. Now the beavers are going to go, they are going to go start uh, building that flag for me. I'm going to go ahead and connect the path. And then I will need to set that we are going to go harvest, I believe. Actually, no. Now that I think about it, and also reading this, no, uh, whichever beaver is assigned here, basically, uh, the Azea, Azea, will actually automatically just gather berries. So now we will want to build a farmhouse. Go ahead, keep it pretty easy, and build it to the left of the center. And as always, we're going to need to build a path. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Pause. Pause. Now that's done. So we have a couple of things we can do. So the, the beavers will really only walk along the path as they're carrying their resources. So I could technically build this path. This would be the shortest route from an existing path. However, I'll go ahead and build that so that there's a more direct route via a farmhouse. Uh, but I will also connect it to, uh, to this path just so that any lumberjacks on this side will go ahead and uh, take that path instead of walking around it. So yes, yeah, so there is a little bit of strategic placement and connection that needs to be done. Uh, but like I said, I am going to try to just keep it pretty, uh, at least for now, right? Uh, especially as I'm getting used to the controls and whatnot, I don't want to build this giant monolith or maze of things to do. As for a later date. So right now, let me zoom in. The beavers are actually sleeping. Look at that. Huh? Because all the beavers are homeless, all 11 of them, they get to sleep on the cold, hard ground. Uh, in time, we will build a shelter for them. This right now is currently not the time as we're trying to build up our uh, city. But let's go ahead and Forward through time. Okay. So it's bright, it's early. We are now going to get the day started. So we have our two beavers here. Domai and... Ditted. 
I don't know where these names come from at all, by the way. I did not give them these names. <clears throat> One thing I'm thinking too, while we're I'm waiting for this farmhouse to be built. Luckily, you guys now nah, get to see the full part of it because God. Okay, so to watch this get built, you're basically just watching beavers walk back and forth to build them. Uh, now I have on standard speed uh, because I am actually technically on a lunch break right now, so. Trying not to miss too much things at work also as they come in. And I figure, you know, I want I felt like recording. Uh but one thing I was wondering, does it make sense to for me to build a lodge? Uh and the lodge is a place for the beaver to uh, sleep, right? So basically, I can start uh, building these lodges right now. I can also build a log pile. Which honestly isn't a bad idea. That won't fit there. I'm thinking that, that would be a good spot for a log pile. I'm just going to go ahead and queue the activities. One thing I don't know is if I have this up right here, I don't think the beavers can get. It. So we are going to make this sort of like a barrack living style. We're actually going to build these right back here. Uh, so that that will give us twelve housing. Uh, also, this is how the folktales can do. Uh, looks like we do have a thirsty beaver. That's also something that I need to build. Build a small water. Go ahead, build three of four of those. That way we are storing water. Especially when the dry season comes, we will need it. Uh, It helps also that I've seen a fair amount of gameplay to get an idea on what I need to start focusing on. Um, but yeah. Alright. So now we get to go ahead and plant. So we need we need to plant 70 carrots. Uh Go ahead and this might be enough. The thing is, is that this part is on dry land. So I am going to lose these crops. That might not have been the best spot. But I think it'll be fine. We did start off with a lot of berries. We also have a barrier here. If I were to demolish this, we would suddenly get water coming into here. So let's set that for demolish. No reason to just have that there. But how are we on food? We have 108 berries left. So not doing the best. We almost have a lodge complete. Uh, it does want us to build a small warehouse. Go ahead, build it there so that we're building some form of district uh, kind of style. So it's bright, it's sunny again. Day number three. The concerning part is that. We actually haven't done two. It'll keep us surviving for a long time. We've been surviving day to day. So hopefully we can get some of these buildings complete. I'm going to go reprioritize something so that we're finishing these. I do want to start storing water as early as we can. Because we do now have a log pile. So, once we build all these, we should be able to start storing some logs. 
Uh, but right now we do have two launches completed, which is ex a excellent sign. Looks like the, the first small water tank is getting there. We are a little over halfway. The, char the carrots are coming in nicely. Uh, they're at 13% progress. Or at least some of them. I, I can't say like all of them are at 7%. One thing too is that I can adjust the uh, working hours. I think 16 hours is a fair amount of working hours when you're starting off. Maybe in the future, as things are more developed, maybe 8 hours. I think 17 hours, or 16 hours, is a fair amount of time. So it looks like a couple of our children beavers are starting to grow up. We have Bagwagwadrag has grown up. Shubre has, grow has grown up. So now, since we have our first water tank, as you see here, the capacity starts filling up, and and anytime a beaver needs a drink, they will come by and grab it. Uh, looks like the second water tank is done, and then they should go and work on this third one, and then work on the small warehouse. The next day, we should be able to finish the third water tank. Uh, and maybe the small warehouse. This is a small water tank is about half done. Uh, looks like we have five, only five homeless beavers. Uh, which is good. Because when we finish these two, everyone will have a bed. All right, we finished the third one. They should be working on the small warehouse. They are. Uh, Stoli has grown up too. But we are at day five. Is there a way for me to see when the dry seed? All right. One more lodge is complete. We are down to the last one. We will finish that tomorrow. I have time to fast forward here. So it'll be daytime pretty soon. But... We will go ahead and take a look at this one. <clears throat> Alright. All the lodges are complete. We will now need to build the inventor. And this develops the science forms. This allows us to research newer buildings. Uh, so let's go ahead. Build. I think one is too little. But I'm going to follow the uh, tutorial here. Because I would figure the tutorial would know how to keep me alive in this game longer than I would. But I think their well-being is currently at 5. We do want to get it to 11 to unlock the uh, Iron Teeth. But basically, uh, we want to make sure that they have all, all of these under, under control. Our water are filling up nicely. I don't know how much water we go through a day, though. Because the drought season... I don't remember how long it lasts on the first season. Uh, but we want to be able to survive. So now we are going to build a... Water wheel. Which we'll need a path. Let's go ahead, pause time. gonna take 50 logs hmm. 
but we do need power. We're currently working on our science. We have nine points in science here. Take a look at what we can unlock and let's start making some plans. A dam isn't a bad idea, so getting like a Levi. Uh, that's an art. You can also uh, get some D. More crops. Metal work. I don't have any scrap metal nearby that I saw. Where's the nearest scrap metal? We're all the way over here. Uh, no, this might be the closest. Even then, that's a ways away. Okay, so basically, if I if I had to zoom out all this way, it is probably too far to get in two or three seasons, probably. Unless if I made a huge rush to get there, I might be able to get it in the second or third season. But mind you, this is where our city center is. So for us to get all the way over there, we would have to build a basically a second town hall. Uh, for the second village. And we are just not there yet. Okay. So our food supply went up drastically because of the carrot. Uh, it looks like also destroying that uh, okay that was here was a really good idea because now we have all of this land. So the water wheel is being worked on. It's actually almost done. That was a lot quicker than I thought. All right. So the dry season is approaching in about three days here. Which means we have a lot of work to do. We will need to make sure we have enough food and water to survive. I don't know how long the actual dry season will last, like I said. But we are now generating power. So now we can work on a lumber mill. Which is a bit strange. Uh, because three days before the dry season and we're working on a lumber mill. Lumber mill, I don't think, provides uh, survivability. Could I be entirely wrong? Yes, definitely. But if I remember correctly, it doesn't help us survive. Alright, so I got rid of the building here. I probably didn't need to, but I want to go ahead and give a little bit of room there. But basically, I don't think we had enough uh, that you can't actually build the power shaft on the path, uh, which is weird. What do I know about building? Not a whole lot, I'll tell you that. So the lumber mill is back, back and built. It is now being powered. And also, we have baby beavers. Huh? We have three children. But yes. So that was the last day of the wet sea. Go ahead and zoom out and we can take a look to see what happens, right? Okay, so luckily the drought's only two days. The water is flowing downstream this way, right? So the drought is going to start by by having the water evaporate on this side, right? So now, did you see guys see how there's a little uh, delay there? That's because there's a little bit of depth here, and that's basically where a dam would come in. Uh, looks like we do have a lake reservoir. Uh, looks like we do have a lake reservoir there, but yes. We have now begun dry season. But that is also where I'm going to call it a day. But anyways, guys, if you guys like the series, uh, I know that this first uh, video was more of like a let's play. Primarily, that's for myself so that I can get an understanding on the game. 
but also to let you guys uh, see it for those who are tuning in that haven't seen this game what the game is about uh but in the future this is going to be one of the many games that i have a lot of cool ideas for uh but let me know if you guys like this kind of content uh and to do that you uh, hit the subscribe button smack the like button and also leave a comment if you like but anyways guys i hope you guys have or had a wonderful day. Thank you.